Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in the last week of classes for winter quarter at Stanford Law School. Very exciting stuff. It is currently Monday. I'm doing some of my last assignments. Let me show you guys my to-do list for the day. I have to meet with one of my professors at three. I have to write my last reflection for my biosciences in the law class. I'm working through my corpse outline to study, basically. Then I have a couple reflections to write for my myth law class. We have a kind of busy week. Corporations is online tomorrow, so that's great considering I, never mind. I have to meet with my law review mentee. Basically, everyone has to like mentor someone into deciding whether or not to join law review. Hope she likes honesty. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to the Dancing with the Stars concert. I'm really excited. I'm a bachelorette slash bachelor girly. Abby Wendy, one of the most recent bachelorettes is hosting, so I'm really excited for that. And then let's see, if therapy, studying, on call for evidence. Okay, listen, we're in our wellness era. I just got a blender. I had a smoothie, now I'm drinking some matcha. I have a lot to do, so let me get to work. We'll catch up later. Thank you so much, and I hope you have the most beautiful day. I wrote my reflection, I exercised, took a nap, and now it's 2.58, and I have my meeting with my professor in an hour. We have to meet with him. Did I say in an hour? I have my meeting with my professor in one minute. We have to meet with him at some point during the quarter and um of course everyone's doing it now since it's almost over oh i don't feel like doing this but i had my meeting low-key made me kind of anxious because <laughs> um in that class i like write these reflection papers and they're like really deep and personal and obviously like i'm turning them in so like i know that he's reading them he was like yeah i read all your papers and i was like bringing up <laughs> stuff about myself and i'm like I don't know why this is making me uncomfortable because I literally, like I wrote these to give to you. I don't know, something about you knowing all this about me and I don't know anything about you. Also the fact that it's like not therapy. You can give me advice in a way, but like not really. I don't know. Like I appreciate it because he did give me good advice, but I just felt very vulnerable, which I should embrace. Like, you know, this is a learning moment for me, I guess. Like I just felt so vulnerable and I wasn't ready to be vulnerable, I guess. So I was a little uncomfy, but it's fine. I'm eating this salad. I feel like I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't know what, like I just feel like I'm literally sitting waiting for something to happen. Okay. Someone on my last video um, <laughs> commented that I should consider an ADHD diagnosis. And you know what? You're absolutely right. If you guys are watching my videos in like November of last year, November, December, I was like literally on the brink of, I don't know what I was on the brink of, but like I kept trying to diagnose myself with literally everything under the sun because I was like, something is not right in my brain. Not that I think it's like better now, but I was talking to one of my friends and they were just like, I mean, yeah, maybe, but also we all just suffer under capitalism. Like nobody's meant to do what we're doing like focusing this long on i don't know these random facts or whatever like reading all day and like having to be performing working hustling all the time that's just not normal it could just be your natural human reaction to not be able to focus because that's this isn't really what we're meant to do in life and maybe it is adhd sure but also maybe maybe we're all adhd not to like <laughs> minimize ADHD, act people who actually have ADHD, but my point is that like maybe the lifestyle is the problem and we just like medicate ourselves and whatever so that we can adjust to a lifestyle when really we should be making our lifestyles adjust to like how we are as humans and not try to force this stupid shoe that nobody wants to wear anyway to fit everyone. But no, whoever said that, no, you're absolutely right because I have I have severe um concentration issues and that's actually what i just opened this camera to say like oh my gosh i cannot for the life of me get through this stupid outline like i've looked at maybe four pages in the past hour and then i did like a deep dive on airbnb for like 45 minutes trying to find my housing for this summer because i'm like i just need something else to, to do like <laughs> i feel like once i have my housing i'll just like fantasize about that all day and like that will give me something to do <laughs> something to look forward to Right now, I'm just like, it's too abstract, so it's hard to fantasize about. I should take a shower. Maybe that'll do something. Listen to music. Like, I was tired for a long time. Now I'm not even tired. I just, I can't do this. Let me show you guys my screen. I have two different outlines looking up. I mean, what did I just say? I have two different outfits. Oh my gosh. And this is what happens. Like, my words 
they literally don't work. I'm just trying to learn. I'm literally just trying to learn. But I still don't feel like enough pressure to like actually do it quickly enough. And I'm like, Zoe, you're taking this text, this test next week, I think. I actually don't know when the finals period starts, but I think next week I can take it. Whatever. Uh, tomorrow I have. Anyway, not important. I'm too tired to update you guys, but tomorrow is going to be a fun day. So we'll just skip to that. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I got up early today, but then I got dressed. And then I was super lazy again, so. <gasps> okay guys, I'm going to class. I'm not taking my scooter for the first time in weeks, I think. Which means we get to chat. I've been spending a lot of time trying to learn some corporation stuff. Today has been uh, semi-successful. I still have a lot to do, but we're getting somewhere. Today is my last class of two of my classes, Law and the Biosciences and my Myth Law class. I don't know if I'm going to my Myth Law class because I have my Dancing with the Stars concert. It starts at 8, and that class doesn't end until 8.30, so obviously if I go, I'm leaving early. And I would have to leave after like 30 minutes, so I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna go. Probably not. Yeah, but that's kind of exciting, being done with two classes. Hooray! Leaving my class, guys, it got so cold while I was in my class. Oh my gosh. And this is why I don't walk, because it's freezing. I'm kind of sad for no particular reason. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Stressed, Depressed, but Well Dressed. Except we're not well dressed because we're in our pajamas. Pijamas. Anyway, this morning, let's see, after I said, oh my god, I'm so depressed. I went to corporations. It was my last class of corporations. Who knew, right? That's exciting. So we're done with three classes now. That's freaking amazing. It was kind of weird, but whatever. Tomorrow we have our last Evans class. And then of course, Friday, we have our last entertainment class. I went to therapy after corporations. Cried the whole time, but it's fine. That's what therapy is for. And every day I just learned so many more things about myself. Personally, I'm tired of learning, but whatever. We'll trust the process. It's now like almost six o'clock PM, which is kind of crazy because I feel like I haven't done anything today. I did watch The Bachelor actually. That took two hours. So what can you do? And I'm about to do my last readings for evidence. After that, I won't have any reason to not study corporations. Yes, I love procrastinating one class with another. Why was I depressed, you ask? Well, I don't know. I've just been feeling, first of all, law school's depressing. Listen, you heard it from me here right now, folks, okay? If you decide to go, just be forewarned that it sucks, which I feel like, you know, I've already made clear, but if I haven't been explicit about it, now I have. I hate law school. I can't wait to get out of here. But I'm just one girl, okay? Do with that what you will. I just fear being unsatisfied in my future career. I just really genuinely don't think that I would enjoy doing literally anything for 40 hours a week. I just don't. And so my plan is to not have to do that. You know, I'll work a few years really hard, make a lot of money, a heck a ton of money, and then go buy my house and like retire and live the life that I want to live. That's my genuine honest plan. Most days like I can like hold on to that. I can envision that and like even though I know it's really hard and like it's gonna take a lot of favors from the universe like I can believe in that plan but sometimes like today for example I get really discouraged and I'm just like there's no way out of this terrible system like there's no way that I'm ever going to be able to live a life that's free that I can enjoy and uh, I don't know where I'm not having to report to someone for 40 hours a week and that idea genuinely terrifies me and then I spiral and I'm like my life isn't mine and What's the point of anything at all? So yeah, there's a little insight into my little brain. Don't really have anything else to say. First of all, can I just say, I know that I do TikTok as well as YouTube now. You guys are still my favorite, like by far, it's not even close. Even though I have more followers on TikTok already, I've had more followers on there for a while, even though I started way after. But TikTokers are so annoying. I'm just like, can you guys grow up? Like, can you guys be for real? Everyone is so holier than thou on that app. 
and like it's just inserting their opinion into literally every little thing i mean i know why it happens like you guys i feel like you guys actually get to know me and you guys click my videos so like you choose to watch me but on tiktok they just show up on people's feed and then they just comment dumb little things like for example i posted this video there's like this trend added some text I'll, I'll just insert it. I'll insert it. Right? So, funny video, right? It went viral because I'm so relatable and quirky. People are in my comments talking about, Ugh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do big law unless you want to sleep under your desk. Ugh, don't do big law. You'll, you won't even, like, you won't even be able to enjoy the money that you, that you make. Don't do big law. You're such a sellout. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's not worth it. Big money equals big hours. First of all, duh. Nobody's acting like I'm just gonna show up to work, eat lunch on the company's dime, go home, and make $250,000. Like, we all know that I'm gonna have to actually work to make the salary, right? Like, duh. Everyone always just wants to insert, like, they always just wanna show that they know something. And I'm like, first of all, first of all, most of you are being so dramatic like every big law firm is different and i was very intentional about choosing a firm that does not have a crazy work-life culture and i was also very intentional about not going to new york because they have the worst work-life culture like i have done my research okay so don't come commenting on my tiktok talking about "Ooh, good luck you're gonna hate yourself Ooh, like shut up literally shut up and also you don't know anything about me and my finances and like i made a video in response to that and i was like literally poor people work harder than anyone else in this country nobody will convince me otherwise and like i am used to being around people who work multiple jobs more than full time and are still barely making it are still living paycheck to paycheck and guess what that's what i'm used to that's what i grew up seeing and so now i'm like thinking about big law and how i'm gonna be working all the time just like them but i'm gonna have financial security and stability i'm like that's a sacrifice that i'm actually willing to make for a few years like if you don't want to do that that's fine and also do the people commenting side eye oh you're sell corporate sellout whatever bro i hate to break this to you but we live in a freaking capitalist society literally everything that we do is bad yes some things are worse than others don't get me wrong there are some matters in big law firms that i will never work on there are some big law firms that i will never work at because i'm like if you're doing something explicitly bad i'm not doing it as far as just like generally working for a company that upholds like bad things about capitalism i'm like literally what do you want me to do what do you want me to do right exactly I've, already, I've said this before but like as a black woman it is not my job to go and fix capitalism okay you guys can go figure that out by yourselves if you don't want me to be selling my soul to these corporations then give me some freaking reparations and scene i'm about to go read and that's all bye Hey guys, I'm going to sleep. It's 12.30ish or something. 12.19. I read for a while. I read my evidence. I still have to read for tomorrow's class. That's my last class I have to read for. And I don't have to be anywhere until 4 tomorrow. So hopefully I can get up early and get that out of the way. And then I read this book for fun. I took the book jacket off, so you can't see it. But it's called Stone Blind, and it's, like, about Medusa. I love, like, Greek mythology. I don't know if rewrites is the right word, but, like, I don't know, like, The Song of Achilles, Circe. I love books like that, especially when they're, like, recasting the villain as, like, when they're giving a villain or origin story. It's just really relatable because, like, all these women in Greek mythology that are villains or whatever, Medusa, Circe, they always have a reason. It's because a man did something bad and then they have a reaction. Like, these women don't just become villains out of nowhere. And for personal reasons, I just find that very relatable. <laughs> so, but I'm about to go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's 10 o'clock a.m. I'm eating breakfast. I did a little Pilates workout this morning. I'm eating and I made a smoothie. Listen, even though it's our depressed era, it's also our wellness era, okay? Life is all about balance. made some lunch lean cuisine now we are back on this couch reading if there's ever like a, a huge gap in time like i go from morning to night in this vlog it's probably because i'm just sitting here and the sun is just going down and i'm just not filming it yeah i figured i'd give you an update because i was procrastinating i'll be reading again i've been reading for a long time nothing has changed hey guys it's time to go to class finally it's 406. We're gonna be on time to evidence today. Let's go. Time for an update now on tonight's 
top story degree that you found the defendant guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Five minutes flat. Can you believe my flowers are still alive and well? Look. Like, this is literally, isn't this so cute? I came up with that by myself. Didn't even see it on Pinterest. I just love it so much. And they're tall. Look, they're almost the same height as me. Anyway, about to make some pizza. I was gonna make pasta, but I don't have the right noodles. So I was like, well, next best thing. While the oven is preheating, I'm gonna take a shower. And we're done with the evidence. But that's one step closer to graduating. Okay, hey guys, it's bedtime. It was a slow but productive day. Ooh, this wind looks kind of... Look at that. Wait for it. Okay, whatever. It's storming. It rains a lot. It's been raining a lot recently, but usually not where I can like hear it. Usually it's just like this ugly light rain. But this is a nice rain that I can, yeah, just meditate on. And it's like thundering a little bit. I love a good thunderstorm to go to sleep too. Apparently it's supposed to storm all weekend. This is literally like the most rain they've ever gotten. So I've heard. There's a lake um, that has been dry for a long time that's like full now on the other side of campus. I need to go over there and like read a book sometime. I just, you know me, I'm kind of lazy and I just stay in here all day. When it's not raining, I'll take you guys out there with me. We can go see what it looks like. Cause it's supposed to be really nice and serene. So I'm reading this book, Stone Blind, I showed you yesterday. I'm on page 80 now. I still like it a lot. And I also like that I'm making time to like read. Honestly, like it's reading or scrolling when I don't feel like doing my homework. So might as well read. Fun fact, th there's like a dorm across from mine, a little bit diagonal like this. And I can see like the person who lives on the edge, I can always see right into their room. Every night before I go to bed, I like wish them good night. I'm like, oh, you're still up. Okay, good night. They're like my little imaginary friend. We have a parasocial relationship. They may or may not really exist. I don't know if they've seen me before. Sorry, anyway. I didn't really study for corporations. I literally did not feel like it. My brain was like, no. And I was like, okay, I can't make you. And so instead I watched a video, which I had to watch anyway for corporations still. And it was like 40 minutes. So that was my studying for today. Tomorrow I'll study for real. Okay, see you tomorrow morning for our last class of the quarter. <laughs> Good morning guys. It's another Friday morning where I'm rushing to get some Starbucks before this class. It's 8.48. So I have 12 minutes until class begins. I'm about to hop on the scooter, go to Starbs, and then go to my last Friday morning class, hopefully ever, Friday class period. <laughs> See ya. So I'm in the study room and it's in the law school, in the law library, and there's a sign on the door that says, it's only for law students. But look at this work on the board. Like this is literally not law school. Hi guys! I'm actually, sorry, I just took a shower. I actually, I don't know why I made the face. I am feeling kind of good. Not for any particular reason. You know, it's funny that I say that. I usually say I feel bad or I feel sad or I feel down. Not for any particular reason. No, I'm saying I feel good. Not for any particular reason. I just have a good feeling about the future. And that hasn't been happening to me very often recently. So I appreciate that feeling a lot. I just had a good conversation with my mommy. I'm about to go to the store. It's 7.42, but I'm really craving a specific meal for dinner. I don't have the ingredients, so I'm about to go get them. I'm about to like cook, even though it's late already. And I'm going to the I studied corporations with Daphne for like four hours today. Honestly, like we didn't go through that much, but like what we did go through was really helpful for both of us. So cheers to that. I'll finish my reflections for the quarter. I finished class, yay. We are like, what is three times three is nine plus six is- Okay, it's getting late. It's already late, so let me go to the store. I've been reading about Medusa and now I look like her. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. It's 1 a.m. I'm sleepy. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is 1.45. I had a bit of a slow morning. I kind of forced myself to not quite sleep in, but stay in bed this morning because I'm just like, it's a Saturday. I'm done with class. Like, I have all this week to literally just study. Let me take it slow. I made breakfast. I read for fun a little bit. And then um, I got a headache. So, laid on my couch. But then my friend called me and kind of zapped me out of it. So, that was really good. Now, I'm writing these reflections that I said I was going to write last night, but didn't. After that, I want to go on a walk. So, I'm trying to finish this really fast so that I can go on my walk while it's still, like, sunny outside. Yeah, we'll go from there. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for the rest of the day. 
I feel like there's a lot of good potential. Even though it's like 145, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit because I'm like, oh my gosh, the sun's about to set, even though it's literally not. But like, that's how my brain works. I'm just like, if I can plan out, I don't know, whatever. That's probably yeah, mental illness speaking. Anyway, it's three o'clock. I am about to go on my walk. Yay! Look at this outfit. It's literally so cute. It's kind of warm today. It's still sunny. So I need to go literally right now because I could change any second. I don't know. I'm just kind of happy. Okay, let's go. I'm home, I had a good walk, it's five now. I'm about to take a shower, gonna wash my hair. I just got some goodies in the mail. Some mousse and some shea butter. Five o'clock, but it's giving like two o'clock. Daylight savings is tomorrow already. For some reason I feel like that went by really fast. Like I feel like we were only in the other one for not that long. And honestly, I'm not really, I'm not mentally prepared for daylight savings. I know people like this one because it means it's gonna be lighter for longer, but I actually like when the sun rises earlier. It's just easier for me to wake up. Now going back, to the sun not rising until like eight o'clock that's gonna be a bit annoying i'll talk to you after my shower i took a shower i'm literally so bored like i just want one worthwhile distraction for my homework i'm tired of having to use my brain to like daydream or something to be distracted from my work now i want a real distraction this is so sad also there's so much stupid drama going on right now with um nothing to do with me this time guys nothing to do with me but stanford just look up stanford law on twitter look at the drama people are complaining that um stanford breeds woke crybaby advocates i'm just like can you guys whatever i'm not even getting into it because it literally is just the dumbest conversation in my opinion but there's this judge who came here and like people protested him because he's like problematic and uh, like i, I don't want to get into it just know that whatever you see on the internet that man had it coming and he literally instigated okay i'm gonna listen to the high school musical soundtrack and clean i guess I'm so bored Time for bed, which means it's 12.55 a.m. But in five minutes, it's gonna be 2 a.m., which is so annoying. My uh, neighbor is still awake. I feel like they're always awake. I mean, I guess I don't go to sleep that late. A lot of people in school go to sleep late, so whatever. I read, I wrote, that's it, really. I cleaned, I did my bed laundry, so that's really good. Okay, I'm just really sleepy. Bye. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I woke up at 10.30 in this nude daylight, whatever. My friend Kristen and I, who you met last week, I think. We're about to do our entertainment final. The final is like a negotiation. She's representing the studio. No, I'm representing the studio. She's representing the talent, the actor, whatever. We have to like make a contract, basically. So we're about to get that out of the way. It's 3.16, we just finished. Oh my gosh, how exhausting, right? My hair looks good. Someone asked me to do an updated hair thing. And honestly, like my hair looks best in 2020, and so I reordered all of those products i don't know i just love the soft but defined look i need to like cut it again because my bangs are being kind of weird i don't really know what i want to do about that anyway done with entertainment i'm tired like it feels like it feels like it should still be 10 o'clock a.m when i woke up like it doesn't feel like it's 3 o'clock p.m maybe because i also haven't really eaten but i'm about to eat whatever I'm about to say something so dramatic, but I feel like this hour's pushback thing really just messed up my whole day. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. And yeah, it's Sunday night, so like I should be ending this vlog, but I'm behind because of that one hour, so not yet. Okay guys, it's Monday now, and I'm going to edit this video, and I'm going to study for corporations. I'm not looking forward to editing this video because I feel like it's going to take me a long time. But this is the life I chose for myself, so it's okay. I'm not complaining. It's 12 now. Ugh, I already hate this time change. Like, my body... I didn't get up to, like, 9.30 today, which is, like, not that late. But when you think about it, waking up at 9.30 my time is waking up at 12.30 on the East Coast. The day is literally so far gone. That's so irritating. Like, and I could set an alarm, but it's just so much better to wake up to the sun, you know, for the sun to be the thing that slowly wakes you up. Like that just, it's better, whatever. I can also go to sleep earlier. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust, okay? It's only day two, I'll adjust. Also, did you guys know flowers last kind of a long time? For some reason, I thought they would be gone in like three days, but no, they're still, I mean, they are starting to fall apart, but 
they're doing better than I thought they would. Okay, that's enough for this week because it's not even this week anymore. I'll see you guys next week, um, which will be me figuring out what to do without any class. So that should be kind of exciting. Okay, bye.